Blake Shelton speaks out in support of Garth Brooks, takes on Taylor Swift fans, and Carrie Underwood shows love to Miranda Lambert. Stick around, we've got a lot to cover. Good afternoon and welcome to Country Cast. We've got a lot to get to today, so let's dive in. First up, Blake Shelton is, as always, making waves on Twitter. Known for calling out haters and even his former The Voice castmate, Adam Levine, Blake never shies away from a good online confrontation. Recently, Blake responded to a bizarre threat from someone on Twitter who goes by the name Bimbo Milf. According to Whiskey Riff, the person sent Blake a cryptic message, Blake Shelton, you will pay for your actions. This led to speculation that some Taylor Swift fans were angry about Blake taking the top spot on the country charts, especially when Swift isn't number one. Fan wars can get ugly and Blake wasn't having it. He fired back, I'm sorry, we're not taking Twitter threats seriously today, Bimbo Milf, but we are handing out kiss my asses. Want one? Things escalated further, with some people threatening to torch Blake's house if he didn't step aside for Taylor Swift to take the top spot. Blake responded, well, at least you'll be getting out of your mom's basement for a while. Maybe she'll pack you a lunch for the trip. Maybe a hot dog with a nice big weenie on it. It's always refreshing to see someone like Blake Shelton, one of the biggest stars in the game stand his ground and not worry about what anyone else thinks. He's clearly unbothered by the drama. Moving on, let's talk about Miranda Lambert and Carrie Underwood. Is it a bromance or what's the female equivalent of that? Let me know in the comments. Miranda Lambert shared some exciting news on Twitter. Her song Bluebird is officially a number one hit. She posted a heartfelt message reflecting on her journey. It's been eight years since I had a number one on the Billboard charts and six years on Mediabase. I have spent my life doing what I love, and I feel more blessed and humble than ever to have the Song of Hope resonate with all of you. In a year that hasn't offered much to celebrate, I'm celebrating the joy country music has brought to my life. Thank you to my fans, the writers, musicians, radio stations, and everyone who has supported me along the way. Carrie Underwood, in turn, showed Miranda some love, commenting, congratulations, long overdue there, Miranda Lambert. This is just the latest example of mutual support between these two country superstars. Last year, Miranda showed similar support for Carrie in an interview with Taste of Country, where she praised Carrie as an ideal example of what Entertainer of the Year should represent. Now, let's get back to Blake Shelton. As many of you know, Garth Brooks made headlines this week when he announced he was pulling himself out of the running for CMA Entertainer of the Year. This move sparked a lot of discussion, with some people saying it made little sense. If you earned it, you should get it, no matter the circumstances. Many of Garth's peers, including Blake Shelton, stepped in to defend him. Blake Shelton took to Twitter, replying to Steve Wariner's post that praised Garth. If you've ever seen Garth Brooks live, you know why he consistently wins Entertainer of the Year. There is no one as big as Garth, but more importantly, no one as kind. Blake responded, I've been fortunate enough to call Garth a close friend for years, and I know who he is offstage as well one of the kindest people on the planet. Garth, you are not just entertainer of the year. You're a legend forever, and you earned it. Trisha Yearwood chimed in, thanking Blake and Steve for having her cowboys back, adding much respect. It's easy to mock Garth Brooks sometimes, but after watching his Anne documentary, it's clear he's a stand-up guy, a family man who's earned his place in country music history. Now let's hear from you. We love reading your comments and responding to your thoughts on the stories we cover. David weighed in on Garth Brooks's decision to pull out of the CMA race, saying, that's the new generation for you. If things don't go their way, they cry. Just like you didn't win the race, but here's a trophy. It's crap and stupid. If he wins, he wins. If they don't like it, maybe they should step up their game. Martha added, this is silly. Garth earns everything he wins. Have you been to his concerts? No one can stop him. Stella shared her thoughts on the Lady A name change debate, saying, I can see both sides. I think changing their name to Lady A wasn't the change they promised. They were already known as Antebellum, and now they want the blues singer to share the name. But $10 million is too much to ask for. Maybe the country group should change their name entirely. It's a valid question. How can they trademark a name that already belongs to someone else? 